In Creo Parametric 12, there is a new functionality called Highlight New that helps you understand what has been updated in the newest version of Creo. If you launch Creo Parametric, you start out on your Home tab, and right on the Home tab, we can see this command called Highlight New. And when I click on it, it's going to give us a few different options. First off, you can enable the highlighting of new functionality. It is turned on by default. You can also change how the new functionality is highlighted, whether it's with a triangle or a marker. And there's also a command for more settings. When you click on this, it will open up the Creo Parametric Options dialog box. It will take you to your Windows Settings category. And here in the middle, we have the Highlight New Functionality Options, which has the same control over whether it's enabled, the highlight type, and where you want to start showing it from. It's listing 12.4.0.0 in here. It's the only current version that's available in the drop-down list. 12.4 is the latest desktop version. If you're wondering, hey, what happened to 12.0, 12.1, 12.2, 12.3? Well, those were SaaS versions, software as a service, and there's a reset highlighting button. So let me cancel out of here and let's pull open a model. I'll grab one of my most recently used models and let's see where we can find this. So first off on the model tab, if I go to my editing overflow menu, there's a new command called approximate surfaces. And if you take a look in the upper right hand corner, it has that little blue triangle marker indicating that it is new. And if we go to the drop down menu, you have a couple of commands that you can learn more about it. If you click on learn more, it is going to open up the page in PTC help that will teach you how to use this new command. You can also clear the highlight and also be aware by default, the highlights are going to be cleared after the first time that you use the command. Let's take a look at a few other different commands. So for example, if I go to the tools tab, we can see that hatch designer over here has a new command. Let's take a look at the view tab. If we take a look on the view tab, there are a couple of new commands on here. There is capture visibility and there's toggle visibility, which is currently grayed out. Speaking of which, if you take a look at your quick access toolbar, we have a couple of commands on there that indicate that they are new. And this is also capture visibility and the toggle visibility commands. And oh yeah, also one other command that you have in your quick access toolbar, you can now control the display of tangent edges in your model. So for example, I click on that, you don't see the tangent edges. So this new highlight new functionality helps you understand what is new in your latest version of Creo.